If not for these two and their vision, I wouldn't be here today. Because what they did is they created the field for a community of love and a community of giving. And I was one of the big recipients, and I know each one of you in your own way have also received that great light and that great love. So, thank you, dear ones, for five years of beautiful light and love. All right.
check to make sure what's really in there is in there. 25 years. Can I check? Yes. No. I have been lugging stinking this way. around. It's still in its original wrappings. <laughs> Now do you remember, oh, baby girl, what for 25 years it in this same box, the way Kate <laughs> gave it to us? No. Yes. No. Yes. Wait and you now, see and now, no, let her open, let, let, let her see. This is, this is what... No, that's it. I, see, I, I, I haven't done this in 25 years. I haven't opened it to see this. I have forgotten. This is the gift that we would not give Kat because it was going to be your gift for your baby girl. And she made booties. And this is a... I, I, I have not touched this in 25 years. It's what is been, this? It, it's, it's a pair it, purse. <laughs> Okay. She made I she made those little stockings, but they were all different.
gosh, so many, many examples. Um, whether it's a health issue or a marriage or um, a prosperity issue or just whether somebody has decided that they want to extend themselves again when they hadn't for a long time and come out of a shell. And um, that's what, those are the stories that I cling to and that keep me going. When, go, and you're right. I wanna go, I wanna go. I wanna go, I wanna go, I wanna go, I wanna go. I wanna go, I wanna go, I wanna go, I wanna go. I wanna go.
version. Birthday, dear, dear Jessica. 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 Happy birthday to you. Oh. Ready? One, two, hey. hold on. Thank you guys for just jumping in. <laughs> and, uh, Lacey, Lacey concurs. So, um, for those of you who may be here just for the music, thank you so much for coming and joining Soul Center OC in this very fun fundraiser. Uh, Soul Center OC is a trans denominational center, meaning we welcome people from all faiths and backgrounds to just celebrate love and oneness. So uh, even if you're not here necessarily for Soul Center OC, you are here for love, and that is, is wonderful for us. So thank you so much for joining us. And of course, this beautiful band that has come together is so exciting. And Annika, we cannot wait to hear you and Viking on bass. And of course, the incredible Lacey over here. And uh, are you playing, Jesse? One song. One, one song. song. <laughs> <laughs> what one song is all you need with Jesse.
light shining in the heart's palace, and in its light the whole world becomes divine. Once you've seen that light, don't ever lose it. Forgiveness. 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 Yes. <laughs> Wear your heart on your sleeve. Speak the words that you believe. I promise you that's all that you need. And you will find through the fire, love will hold your desire and follow you to all that you can dream. And yes, I know that you will feel like an angel from the clouds Cause you've been through so many trials But you still stand out from the crown And make me proud of who you are Who would have thought you'd come this far You know now that love is all you need And when they say that you are wrong Let them talk and just move on Know that love Love is all you need Now just be gentle When you teach Tell your story And you can reach All of them The ones who are in need Then walk away And feel complete no more need to compete Your harmony And that's all that you need to be And yes, I know that you will feel Like an angel from the clouds Cause you've been through so many trials Your head was hung but now it's bound And I'm so proud of who you are who would have thought you'd come this far? You know now that love is all you need. And when they say that you are wrong, let them talk and just move on. Know that love, love is all you need. Your body starts to age, but you have only turned a page. You'll always, always have the need to share your heart with everyone. Let your heart shine like the sun until you're done. You will plant the seed. Who would have thought you'd come this far? 
you know now that love is all you need. And when they say that you are wrong, let them talk and just move on. Know that love, love is all you need. And I'm so proud of who you are. Who would have thought you'd come this far? You know now that love is all you need. And when they say that you are wrong, let them talk and just move on. Know that love, love is all you need. Um, it's a bit of a different day for us. We've had a really really good lunch. Um, and we thank you all for being here. Uh, my name is Patricia Griffith. I'm one of the co-founders of Soul Center along with my daughter Jessica. But what a lot of people really don't understand is that Beth Morley, who transitioned on Wednesday, was our partner and our best friend and aunt and um, confidant and practitioner and everything. And so um, we just are making today about her and so it'll be a little little bit different and we're just asking everybody to remember that she is with us. We know that, you know, and we're letting her go free and she needed to and so we're going to figure out how to be and um, I, you know, I was thinking earlier that if she were standing here right now, she'd probably crack a joke. <laughs> um, the reason everybody loved her so much was because she loved everybody so much. And um, she was just endless. And she made everybody feel incredible. Her loss will be huge. So we're going to celebrate today, but it's a little bit, a little bit different. Um, I, I remember with Jessica um, long ago when we started this. Her she, Jessica's famous for saying to me, "So what did Beth say? You know, what does Beth think? You know, have you talked to Beth? I mean, she just had so much beautiful insight for us and everybody. And the way she led those kids was just." you know, inspired. That's who she was. Her artistic side was just incredible. And there, um, there is going to be a celebration of life. And uh, for those of you who really know Beth, know that that's all she did. All day, every day was served. Wherever she was and whoever she was with, she was serving. She's the one who really, really showed us what Seva is, sacred service. And um, I remember recently, not too, well, a few months ago, uh, she was coming out of her chemo treatment, as everyone knew. And um, she wasn't feeling great, but she was, you know, trying to show up, as she always did. And I um, did something for her that she had said she would do. And um, she came back at me, and she's like, don't you mess with my Seva. You know? <laughs> She's like, that's not for you to do. That, you know? I was like, okay. <laughs> I'm really, really sorry. And um, you want to tell why we changed the theme for today? There is a little of a falling star In the hot springs of my veins Fuel of a fusion's fire We burst a flame and then expire I lay my babe down in the wall I sing 
Saturdays. He thought that that was a monumental waste of time of a perfectly good Saturday, especially during football season. <laughs> In fact, he would have not attended probably. No, that's not true. But he would have done so very grudgingly. Yeah, he thought all weddings should happen on Tuesday nights because he just didn't think that. <laughs> right? True. It's very true. Right? 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 Heather, we know. Right? He did. He did. And then they went ahead and scheduled the wedding on a USC football uh, game day during the football game. So he probably would have um, canceled it or not attended. No. <laughs> so he would have given me a lot of grief. Yeah, a lot of grief. So we want to remember him.
get to live what I believe and not hide it, but be open about it and acknowledge it and share it instead of playing, you know, like I had a spiritual life and a career and a spiritual life and friends and they weren't a part of it. But now it's integrated. It's all day, every day. It's number one for me. So I get to, to live it and breathe it and apply it all the time, every, all day. Release your fear. For I am this fine name. 
hear it over and We get to share the heaviness. <laughs> also, Reverend Keith has taught us to let go of the heaviness. And to allow. Yeah. The, the, the two big lessons, allowing and spaciousness for me. Um, you know, to allow support, to, to, to allow the good, to allow the love, to, you know, that has been, um, Life changing, I don't say that lightly, but it changes lives. Yeah.